Welcome to Online Storytime with Chicago Public Library. I'm Miss Caroline. I'm excited to share some stories with you today. Let's sing a song to get us warmed up. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I'm so happy to be with you today. We're going to be reading some stories about getting dressed. We're going to start with a really fun one called Froggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkovich. It was cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know? Frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. No, no, cried Froggy. I'm awake, awake. I want to go out and play in the snow. So Froggy put on his socks, zoop, pulled on his boots, zup. Put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zwip, tugged on his mittens, zoom, and flopped outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. What, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. <gasps> Oops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. Silly froggy. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled off his boots. He left his socks on and slipped his pants on. Zoop. Then he pulled on his boots. Zup. Put on his hat. Zap. Tied on his scarf. Zwip. Tugged on his mittens. Zump. And flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy! Called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. He flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat. He left his pants, boots, and socks on and buttoned up his shirt. Zut, zut, zut. Then he snapped on his coat. Snap, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zwit. Tugged on his mittens, zoom, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called his mother. What, yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens. He had on his scarf. He had on his coat. He had on his shirt. He had on his pants. He had on his boots. He had on his socks. He reached up. Yup, he had on his hat. What could he be missing? Your underwear, his mother laughed. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He flopped back inside, flop, 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 tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, unsnapped his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, pulled off his boots, took off his socks. He left his hat on and slipped his long johns on with a zap of elastic. Then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, Zup, tugged on one mitten, zum, started to tug on the other and let it drop and said, I'm too tired. And went back to sleep. Good night, froggy. The let's sing a song about frogs. You might know this one, but it's always good to sing songs more than once. We're going to be singing five green and speckled frogs. You've got five frogs right here, and you've got a big log. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four little speckled frogs. Blub, blub. 
Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One went, jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three little speckled frogs. Glub, glub! Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two little speckled frogs. Glub, glub! Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool, leaving one little speckled frog. Glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no little speckled frogs. So silly, those frogs. Well, I'd like to read another story that has to do with clothing and getting dressed about what we need to do when we wash our clothes. You see we've got a washing machine here and some detergent, all sorts of things in there. We're going to read about Knuffle Bunny by Mo Willems. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. I wonder where they could be going. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Do you help your parents put the laundry into the machine? She looks very helpful, don't you think? She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, that's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Flaggle, flaggle, clabble, said Tricky, Trixie again. Flaggle, flabble, won't be flabby? Snoop. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. Ah! She went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Knuffle Bunny? Uh oh, what do you think daddy's thinking? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Poor Trixie. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Those were the first words Trixie ever said. The end. I just love that one. Always a fun one. So let's talk about what we need to do when we get dressed. I've got some clothes up here on the line. Maybe you can see them. And we're going to sing a song called Getting Dressed to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. And we're gonna start with some pants. We'll assume that you have your undies on already. 
I'm getting dressed myself. I'm getting dressed myself. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm getting dressed myself. I'm putting on my pants. I'm putting on my pants. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm putting on my pants. Next one, what do you think you should do, a shirt? I'm putting on my shirt. I'm putting on my shirt. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm putting on my shirt. I'm putting on my shirt. I'm putting on my shirt. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm putting on my shirt. Hmm, what should we do next? How about some socks? These are very fancy socks. Do you have favorite socks? I bet you do, I do too. I'm getting dressed myself. I'm getting dressed myself. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm getting dressed myself. I'm putting on my socks. I'm putting on my socks. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm putting on my socks. It's still a little cold out, so I think we should at least put on a hat, don't you? I'm getting dressed myself. I'm getting dressed myself. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm getting dressed myself. I'm putting on my hat. I'm putting on my hat. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, I'm putting on my hat. Now look what I have done. Now look what I have done. Hi ho, I'm growing, oh, now look what I have done. All dressed. You can sing this again, obviously, with lots more things that you might put on. Maybe you need to put on your shoes or your coat or mittens or a scarf, lots of other options. But that hat was really important because it takes us to our last book, The Magic Hat by Mem Fox, illustrated by Trisha Tusa. One fine day from out of town and without any warning at all, there appeared a magic hat. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air and over a road and sat on the head of a warty old toad. <gasps> it turned him into a toad. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air like a bouncing balloon and sat on the head of a hairy baboon. <gasps> He's even eating a banana. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air from way over there and sat on the head of a sleepy old, what do you think it could be? Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air, it's true, it's true, and sat on the head of a kangaroo. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air for a mile and a half and sat on the head of a lofty <gasps> giraffe. Did you see that one coming? I didn't. And then, with a skip, and then with a hop, a wizard appeared with a sign that said, stop. It's very small, can you see it? So everyone stopped and stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with sparkling eyes who took from his beard with a nod and a wink, a wand which he waved. And what do you think? The toad, the baboon, the bear, and the roux, and of course the giraffe, oh, what a to-do, turned back into people, dazed and confused, watched by a crowd that was highly amused. I wonder what that egg is all about. Hmm. 
While no one was looking, the wizard, meanwhile, skipped out of town with a mischievous smile. And of course, on his head was the fabulous hat that made all the magic wherever it sat. The end. Now I wanted to share one quick idea for an activity you can do that ties into all of these amazing books about clothing. And that's that if you are doing some real laundry at home, a great thing you can have the kids do, and kids you can do this because you know your colors, is to have the kids find the pair for all of the socks. So they might be all tumbled around from being in the dryer, but you can spot the orange sock and the orange sock and put them together. I bet you've got lots of fun socks at home that you can find the pairs for too. Great way to help out and do some pattern matching. So that's all I've got today. Let's sing our goodbye song, The More We Get Together. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thanks so much for joining us.